Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transfer Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Federal, Colorado, only 30 minutes from um, Denver International Airport. And we're just off the I-25 here. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. Uh, behind me, we got a big boy. We got our 2023 Summit Hauler Conversion M2112. A lot of people have been waiting for this unit. Um, the last unit we had was a white exterior. This one is a black exterior. We're going to go over some of the features on here and for all those who are looking for that 112 and was anticipating the arrival it's here now it's ready to go so let's take a look a closer look at this unit and of course if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out and i'll definitely answer those questions for you so first thing let's open up the hood i think a lot of people love to hear about that engine but on this 23 freightliner m2 112 summit hollow conversion what you're looking at underneath the hood is the dd13 the detroit diesel dd13 and it's also partnered with the allison six-speed automatic transmission this one is the 4000 trv uh turbo diesel tr um sorry <laughs> transmission uh 4000 trv six-speed automatic transmission and if we take a closer look here into the engine uh what you guys will expect from this unit is 505 horsepower and 1850 foot pounds of torque uh, just above the engine here we have a lamp again if you are servicing a vehicle at night or want to check on uh, your oils and different liquids before hitting the road a pre-trip pre inspection you have that cargo light here and you only find those on the m2 112s again as we go around here a lot of things are easily accessible Again, you got your dipstick here, you got your water uh, separator, fuel filter, power steering fluid, everything here is nice and clearly labeled. Love the way Freightliner does it. As we come on down here, those tires will be a little bit bigger than our 106s. Again, it has to carry the weight of that engine and the truck. So what you guys are looking at on those Michelin tires, a 275-80R 22.5s. Again, with Summit Hauler, we do auto balances on every single tire on our unit. So again, with this particular truck, we do have our auto balancer kit on there. As we close the hood, you guys will realize how easy it is to open and close that hood. Look at that. If a wind comes while you're servicing that, it does have that soft close. Again, just a little bit of a push and it will allow it to close with no problems at all. Again, you have to strap down both sides of this unit before living. So I'm going to make sure I do that right now because I always tend to forget. And again, if you only strap one, there is a possibility of the other one not maintaining the weight in, especially if you're going on a long trip. As we come around here, again, we do have our Summit Hall of Steps. Um, this one does come equipped with two areas here for uh, securing your diesel tank. This unit does come with 150 gallons of diesel. 100 gallons on this side and 50 on the opposite side. Those units are lockable, so you can lock your fuel in place. Engine block heater. Awesome lighting throughout the outer ends of the truck. Your batteries will be located underneath the, the back seat. And of course, we are separating the diesel, uh, the death fluid from the diesel tank. So you do have your separate area for your, uh, for your death fluid. And this is a 13 gallon uh, death tank. We did put the trickle charger for your batteries, the same area here. And again, this area closes. Again, our storage compartments. We got some awesome storage areas here. As you guys can see, we try to use as much of the real estate as we can underneath the truck to create storage. And it does come with two storage boxes and they're all weatherproof or waterproof. Again, it, right now it's raining. Your personal items in here. Once you lock this in, they will not have any moisture going in this box dual tires in the back again those auto balances are between those two tires as we turn to the back of the truck the bed of the truck this one we had the option of doing the whole back end of that truck um, spray bed lined but we decided to do it half just the flat part um, one of the customers that was really interested in it 
pre-fitted this way so we ended up tweaking it just before it left unfortunately that customer fall through but again it does create that great look and again the protection on the bed of that truck you have the option of choosing whatever hitch you want guys uh, we have the option of putting that fifth wheel hitch or a gooseneck ball so whatever you guys decide we'll be able to put on there before leaving the lot seven pin connector for your trailer this one does come with a bumper pull hitch and of course that voyager camera system uh, connection if you have one on your trailer and as we come around guys you guys can see the same exact storage boxes we have on the driver side we will have on the passenger side and as we continue here this is our additional 50 gallon of diesel over here and a great way to kind of figure out what type of tanks or the capacity guys come a little bit closer here i don't know if the camera will be able to see that but total capacity you will see 50 and on the other side you'll see 100 so i've had a customer i told was 150 I mean, it was just a, a little bit of a miscommunication when I told him what to look at. It was perfect. He didn't have any issues after that and realized it was 150 gallons. So as we pan inside and as we go inside, you guys can see the back bench of the, the back seat. This one does come with entertainment. It does have uh, headrests, DVD screens. This one will be hooked up via uh, Wi-Fi. So if you, you could pull Wi-Fi from your smartphone or you could put a Wi-Fi hotspot in the truck. Um, it does come with two screens, two headphones. If you want additional headphones, you can get those. Again, that back bench does turn into a bed. So as we jump inside, you guys will see get a closer look of those DVD players or DVD screens. Very awesome Android, um, full of different features and then hopefully if we still have this on my next video i will turn those dvd players on and kind of show you how to work those but with the interior as you guys can see it's kind of similar to our 106s but again very comfortable seats front seats are air ride one of the cool things about this particular build the front seats does come massage so i had a customer to ask about it and i was unsure if we had um again it was a long day and when he texted me that and i found out it did have massage seats i called him back right away i'm like yes it does have it so this one does come equipped with massage seats heated seats air ride up front again adjustable um lumbar system a few cup holders here a few storage compartments in here again we do have our summit hauler um brochure now so you guys can see a bunch of information, different options, different styles of seats we've done in the past. So there is a lot to, to go over with you guys once you purchase a vehicle like this. Again, just to give you a closer look at the dash. Once the driver is sitting down here, that curved dash does come in very handy. Driver doesn't have to stretch much if he has to open a, a, a door, um, roll down some windows. Or whatever the case may be so behind here with the red and blue switches and the fan switch this is your rear ac and heat just below that you have your engine brake this one as you guys can see it doesn't have two switches this one only has one so this will turn it on on high bring it down will turn it to low and of course the center will turn off that engine brake uh, coming over here we do have your uh, cruise control switch. This one will turn the cruise control on. Uh, you will set, accelerate. Of course, you turn it off if you're not going to use it. Uh, your marker lights. You got your traction control switch here. Right behind here is your manual region button. This one does come with a red differential lock. A lot of people love that feature. Coming down here, we do have options here for charging. So you have four USB plugins here. Power windows power locks right next to it here again we do have two uh different switches here one is a utility lamp one is a uh, sport sport lamp the utility lamp will turn on that switch in the engine and this one it's not really a spare switch it's just something um freightliner added so this one doesn't control nothing per se at the moment so this one is a 
technically a spare switch, but um, it is wired up, so you won't be able to hook up anything to it. Uh, optional. The optional switcher up, up here, uh, this one will turn on the cargo, the cargo lamp in the back of the truck. You got your mirror heat, you got your red dump valve, and you do have that light test button. I've seen it from 2021, I think, that light test button came out. Not all Freightliners in that year have it, but that light test button, again, with your pre-trip inspection, you wanna make sure all your lights on your truck and trailer work. So once you flip that switch, there will be a countdown before all the light starts to blink. So it will kill the stereo and some of the lighting inside of the vehicle. It's almost like a 10 second countdown. I'm sure it's 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds go down, it will actually give you that one sound, like a one solid sound. And then you go outside and all your lights on your trailer and truck should be blinking. The only four lights on your truck that will not work, there, will, there are four, uh, two center lights on the bulkhead of the truck and two center lights on the back bumper of that truck that will not turn on until you come and turn that optional switch. It's also that reverse light. Once you put your vehicle in reverse, those four white lights will turn on. So with the lightest button, that's the only four lights that will not work. But your trailer and the rest of the lights on the truck will work. Again, this one does come with full air brakes. It does come pre-plumbed with your trailer brake, uh, trailer air supply. So if you have a trailer with air that is already pre-plumbed, all we have to do is mount the glad hands to the bed of the truck if that's something you want to have already readily accessible. We could get that done right here at our location. Apart from your rear AC, you have your main cab AC controls. Again, your fan levels, your different modes. You have your temperature gauge here. And of course, your uh, inside circulator uh, switch here. Once the orange light turns on, it will be inside circulating the AC and not getting air from the outside. If you want the air from the outside, you're gonna turn that light off and that will give you that. Right, that knob right here will be your subwoofer knob. Uh, this one does come equipped with a subwoofer underneath the back bench seat. Again, this one is to either lower it or raise that volume. Right next to it here is your plug-in. It does have a USB and a HDMI cable um, plug-in. Uh, the USB will give you Android or Apple capability. So once you plug your phone in here, it should automatically plug into your Stinger stereo sound system. And of course, you could have Apple or Android capability up here. This Stinger stereo sound system does come with FM, AM, and satellite radio. We've had some in the past that didn't come with satellite radio. We started adding satellite radio on every single unit that comes into to our conversion company. Also, navigation is standard on this Stinger stereo sound system. But again, you could use your Apple or Android if you have better apps you prefer using um, when it goes to your trips. Trailer brake, we do work with the Red Arc trailer brake um, system. Uh, so that one here is very easy to use, very small, out of the way. It's not bulky <laughs> and it fits pretty well with everything on our dash here. Carbon fiber look throughout the truck. You got dual horns on top, so this is your air horn uh, line. So if you pull that, your air horn will, will come on. You have your regular center horn or CD horn over here. Great truck. Again, this truck is brand new, just above 2,000 miles. Again, people always ask about why is it so much mileage for a brand new truck. Again, with transportation, with testing, with production from the uh, manufacturer to the location of our conversion company. Sometimes they mount, you know, different trucks on top of each other to bring to that, um, to the conversion company. So typically they will use a 112 because it's a bigger engine to pull those trucks to that location. So again, this truck is ready and set to go. On the warranty on the 112s, you have one year, uh, powertrain warranty engine then you have five years on the transmission and then you have uh, three year 36,000 miles on the conversion 
But again, this truck is ready and set to go, guys. So if you guys are interested for all those who have called me about the arrival of this truck, again, I'll send those videos to you. If in case you are not on YouTube right now or Facebook, I'm going to send those videos to you. And of course, if you guys love it, again, slap a deposit on it. You will be able to definitely put your name down. And of course, if you guys are ready to come in to test drive, give us a call today. Reach out to myself or Larry Vickers. We'll be able to help you out. My number will be at the bottom of the screen, text, call, my email also will be there, email me, and I'll be able to answer any of your questions. But in the meantime, this is our 2023. We only have one more coming after this, and then we'll move into our 24s by the end of the year or so. So again, those trucks don't last very long on our lot. The last one didn't last a week. So I want to thank you guys for all your support, all your business. And of course, this one is available as we speak. Thank you for tuning in today, and I'll see you guys back here uh, next week. Larry will be for you tomorrow. But again, have a wonderful weekend. And of course, reach out if you have any questions. Thank you very much.